In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ultra Sign Up Race Timer. This timing system is a very simple use system for race directors. The first screen that you will be presented with is to enter your code. Your code can be found on your event page under the results and timing section. You'll key in that code and hit start. That is going to go out to Ultra Sign Up and pull in your data. This will really be the only time that you're going to need that internet connection while timing your race. The only other time you'll need it is when you actually want to publish your results. So make sure that you preload your event prior to going out to your race course if you have limited connectivity out there. The key view screen is probably the one that you're going to use the most. This is where you simply key in bib numbers and record them. You'll see that we already have clocks and they're running. This event has been configured to start at 4 p.m. today, so you'll see that the clocks are already running. But you can go in and adjust those clocks to a start date in the future and your clocks will just simply countdown so don't get too worried about your clocks but once you do set your clocks start recording individuals you're not going to want to really go in and adjust those clocks and so now that now that the clocks are running if you do need to adjust them you can simply click on one of the rows and you can update that start time in this case I'm not going to update the, the start time so I'm going to just cancel out so let's go ahead and start recording some records here oh and you'll see that the auto automatically fills based on the numbers that you're typing in. It recognized that no, bib number 100 is Kimberly. And so with that, we can simply add her in. And as soon as you click add, that's when the time is recorded. So when you're standing at the finish line or an aid station, you simply are going to key in bibs and hit enter and that records their time. Let's flip over to BibView. BibView is kind of interesting. BibView is, is actually a really good screen to use Very for wrong. smaller events because it's fun and it's quick and easy. You simply tap on the bib number and it records their time right when you tap it. And it also shows who the last person is. If for any reason you um, make a mistake, you can always delete their record and add them back into the event. In this, in this particular case, the 25K is, is configured to do one lap. The 50K is configured to do two laps. So when you're recording a 50K, you'll see that a number one pops up here on the right. And when you click it a second time, it turns gray, meaning they're done with the race. and they're, So it makes it visually appealing to see this. You can see how many individuals are still outstanding. If you want to kind of look at this a different way, you can come in here and change it and view by last name and it shows their bib number. So that's kind of interesting. Same with the first name. You can view it by first name. Let's go and take a look at the results now that we've recorded some. And you can see that the 25Ks that we originally added are in here and the 50K, the individual that we tapped twice is in here. And you can also go in and look and see how many people are still left in the 50K race. It shows 10 remaining. And let's take a look and see how the 25K, it shows two finishers and let's flip over to the remaining and it shows 11 remaining. Every record throughout the system is clickable and when you click it you can see the details of the runner and in this case I'm not showing the emergency contact information but everyone who registers on Ultra Sign Up the emergency contact information will appear here. If you want to change their status from finish to did not finish, you can do so by simply changing it here. If you want to change their event from 25K to 50K, you can. You just change it there. And let's just go ahead and update it. And that individual now has moved out of the results and now will be put in the did not finish screen. At the beginning of your race, if you have race day check-in and you have a stack of bibs that you want to go in and mark as did not start, you can do so by going into tools, change participant status. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to quickly enter bib numbers and hit update, did not start. 
503 did not start 504 did not start and so you can rifle through a big stack of bibs and get them out of the system now if you leave them it's not a big deal they simply won't be included in the results and they won't be published but if you do want to have in your results a list of did not start and did not finish I highly advise that you add these in here and it also keeps your race organized and you can see exactly who is outstanding for safety reasons. I think that's about it. There's a lot of functionality in here. If you go into settings, you can change the speaker settings so that it won't call out their name when you click their bib. You can also check live publishing and live publishing simply means that if you have internet connection, as soon as you tap on that bib or enter it on the key view, it's going to send that result up to Ultra Sign Up and you can view those live on the live viewer screen. Friends and family can track the, the status of their runners by going to a website that we have configured specifically for live events and you can get that link for your event in your results and timing menu item. I hope that's enough. I'm going to be producing some more videos, but this was intended to just be a quick and dirty. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me or send me an email. When you go into the menu up in the top corner here to help, you can see that that my 800 number is in here and my email is in here. Please feel free to call me during your event if there's any problems whatsoever or if you need some guidance, I'm here to help out. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.